literacy, there's so much for them to talk about. Even on when you're walking to a green space, you can talk about cars, you can talk about road safety, you can talk about nature, you can talk about even just having a wee chat with them about what they what they've been up to. Um, there's so many things to describe. It brings stories to life. I'm going to read you three pages. The last shop was narrow and shabby. Peeling gold letters over the door read Ollivanders, makers of fine ones since 382 BC. There's a lovely wooded space in there. There were wands in there. The crucial measurement was from his wrist to his elbow. And all of the wands in Harry Potter were made up of things. There was things like dragon's heartstring, yeah? Phoenix feathers, yeah. That is what the magic that made the wand work. So you have got to go and find a little piece of magic that's going to make your wand work. Let's go adventure. Flowers, leaves, stacks and bark. That's going to look really gorgeous through the hand lens as well, a lovely pink thing. Well, I think we got a right feel for the character when we're out here and doing like picking a wand and things like that, because now we know how it feels like to get a wand like Harry did. And then we'll to make a name for it, uh, write like about what a stick was, like what it looked like. I found Xanforia and I found Algae, so and they put the two names together and name my Xanforia Algae. I prefer being outside learning. Uh, it makes me feel better because you get fresh air. It's better because you can make your students more active. It's more memorable. And it's a lot more fun. This year we've been part of the Coach Project, which has been the Learning Outdoors team for East Ayrshire. They've been coming and supporting us and delivering outdoor curriculum. Before that, it was probably more one-off lessons, um, seeing where it fit in. It, there was no... Um, effort as such to take learning outdoors. It used to be a kind of, oh, I better take them outside sort of thing. Whereas then it became, when I was thinking ahead to a week or a couple of weeks of lessons, I'd be going, actually, that would be better outside. Or we could start it outside and then bring it back inside. Or we could deepen that by going outside. So it wasn't an add-on anymore. It was just it started to become really weaved in between everything that I was doing. I think they're working as a more cohesive group. Um, the teamwork and the camaraderie as such is, is really improved. They also have an increased vocabulary. The words that they're coming up with to use in their writing is a vast improvement. It's a fabulous opportunity for the children. It gives the learning in context. It's a great learning experience for teachers and for pupils alike. The project that we work on is called COACH, Curriculum Outdoors Attainment Challenge. And the programme focuses on building capacity with teaching staff mostly. The results from the baseline to the following year was that there was an increase in vocabulary in particular. Um, a lot more words, a lot more engaged communication. Um, kids were a lot more inquiring, they were, they were using quite complex questioning. Um, they wanted to find out more. Um, and the kind of the openness of being out in a space where there's, there's no one right answer um, it could go anywhere. That seems to encourage children to talk more. So we've heard that their listening and talking skills have improved as well. Actually, in terms of what the children are going back into class and writing, the quality has improved, and that's based on teacher judgment. Where I would start is just make it simple. Think about what it is that you're trying to achieve. You know, I, am I wanting them to increase their vocabulary? Am I wanting them to have more adjectives? Am I wanting them to find similes? Just focus on that wee bit, and then go outside and stand outside yourself in a space and start to think, how could I use that knowledge or that skill in this space and all of a sudden it starts to come alive you know you, you can't help but see around us now the, the adjectives that we could use to describe this place for a start off so you create, create a word wall and if, if, if that's too scary go right back to basics just take them into a space and read a story and the head teachers come back best day in years you know because it is such a special moment you're encouraging them to listen they're, they're just in the moment even just starting there is a good starter. I think use a, maybe a novel as a stimulus to start you off. Think about something you could do outside and just give it a go, even just for 10 minutes. Go out and, and see if they can write their name in chalk. And then just that 10 minutes then becomes 15, becomes 20, and you just start to you just start to realise actually it's not that scary outside and we can, we can go and it's, it's great fun. <laughs>